Hi guys. Okay, it's me, Miss Steiner, and I am here to read to you today. I'm going to try to read to you one day a week um, while we're all shut in. Yeah, me too. I'm at home. As you can tell, this is not the library. Okay, so um, our story today, our book today is called Encyclopedia, and you guys are familiar with me every once in a while reading you a um, nonfiction book. So this is considered nonfiction. It's poetry, and April is National Poetry Month. So we're going to be reading parts of Encyclopedia. The author is Douglas Florian. He's one of my favorite poetry authors. We have several, like 10, I think, of his books in the library. And um, what I'm going to do, this book is about, right, insects. Good job, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the poem. And I want you to guess which insect I'm reading about. As a rule, you guys are pretty good at this because we do it in um, we do it in every grade. Well, we've done it every grade so far. If you've been at Sandia, so you're familiar with Douglas and um, some of the other authors that I read. So I'm going to read the poetry poem. You're going to guess in your mind and see if you get the same answer as the what I'm reading about, the insect that I'm reading about. And then I'm going to show you the picture. Okay, and if you remember from last year, uh, Mr. Florian Douglas, the author, is quite uh, an artist. <laughs> so you'll have to see what you think about him. All right, um, I'm not going to be able to read all of them, but we're going to read a few, and I'm going to start with this one. Ready? Insects. She eats eight leaves at least to fill her, which leaves her like a fatter pillar, then rents a room inside a pupa and checks out Madame Butterfly how super. And you know what? I know you know this. <laughs> it's a caterpillar. And here's the deal. Usually I try not to read the rhyming word that rhymed with caterpillar, but I screwed up. I am so not good or used to this uh, reading thing to you without you there and just me blabbing. Ah! So, let's try the next one. Ready? I am the demon of the skies. Behold my bold, enormous eyes. I sweep, I swoop, I terrorize. For lunch, I munch on flies and bees. Mosquitoes with my feet I seize. I am the dragon down on your knees. What do you think? Usually you guys are pretty good and you get this one. The dragonfly. Okay. Did you see that picture? Yeah. Quite wild. All right. How did you get those legs to grow so very long and lead inside from spider aerobic exercise? Do you drink milk or chew on cheese? And by the way, where are your knees? How did you get those legs to grow? Did you guess? Yeah. It's a daddy long leg. There's quite a few of them on that uh, page right there. Mm -hmm. He's really quite wild. Okay, so on this one you're going to have to um, guess and listen to the words and see if you can connect the dots together to figure out what it is. Okay? Left, right, left, right. We swarm, we fight. We have no home, we roam. We race, and if you're lucky, we miss your place. Left, right, left, right. Those are big clues. Mm. Army ants. I wouldn't want to meet army ants. I don't want to meet any kind of ants. I don't like them. So there's that. Okay, good job, guys. I inch, I arch, I march along. I'm just a pinch, a mere inch long. I stroll and stick on sticks and thickets and never pick up any speeding tickets. So in this poem, you have to listen to the beginning half. 
I inch, I arch, I march along. I'm just a pinch, a mere inch long. Okay, guys, inchworm. Ta-da! Those are outside. When I garden, I've been seeing worms out there. I don't think they're inchworms because they're fat. I don't like them either. But I've been seeing worms outside. Upon a twig, I sit and pray for something big to wind my way. A caterpillar, moth, or bee, I swallow them religiously. You think I... Upon a twig, I sit and pray. Praying mantis. There he is, sitting right there on the twig. Sometimes you can catch those. Of course, I'm not a big fan of catching any kind of bug. Okay, I can do a ladybug. Love it. All right, you guys are all going to know this, so you're just going to listen to the whole thing, okay? And then I know you're right. I am a widow. I always wear black from my eight dainty legs to my shiny round back. Do not disturb me. My fangs carry venom. I am a widow, and I don't wear blue denim. I know. You're right. Black widow. Good job, guys. You guys usually really, really get this all the time, and I think it's because we live in the desert with black widows, and I don't like them either. They really scare me. All right. Let's see if you know the next one that I'm going to read, which is something that I want to make sure you know what it is, because we don't know what a weevil is, so i got to skip that. But we're going to read this. Think about it. I'm thin, not thick, and I have a disappearing trick. By looking like a twig or stalk, I live another day to walk. What do you think, guys? Okay disappears and it looks like a twig and it walks. Did you get it? A walking stick. Here we go. And there, um, I'm going to try to help you because right here where this arrow is, right here, this is it, right here. Oh yeah, I can see him now that I'm pointing him out. <laughs> that was rough. So this is a walking stick. Good job, guys. I've seen you guys collect those, too, and save those, too, but I don't... No, no, no. No, no. Okay. I'm born with yellow rings ending in a point that stings. I build a pulpy paper nest in which few choose to be my guest. I feed my baby caterpillars spiders, flies, and if I'm able, pudding from your picnic table. What do you think it is? And all the time, your favorite guess is honeybee. No, 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 it's not a honeybee. Rings, yellow rings, point that stings. Okay, I have to tell you. <laughs> it's a hornet, you guys, a hornet. I would never, ever, ever want to get bit by one of those because they bite and bite and bite and bite and you feel like, hey, I'm dying. Yeah, they're really rough. Really, really rough. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm thin. I'm rude. I feast on your skin for takeout food. Yeah, you guys are pretty good on this one. A mosquito. Mosquito. Luckily, they haven't been feasting on me lately. I don't think there are any yet. They're coming soon in the summer. Okay, I'm trying to find at least one more for us to guess because termites is rough. Here we go. This is going to be our last one, and I want you guys to tell me if you know what this is. Ready? You don't need tickets to listen. We chirp and cheep for free. We fiddle and sing by rubbing our wing and never charge 
a fee. What do you think? Chirps and chirps and rubs their wings. Did you get it? Crickets, crickets, crickets. And I don't think I have crickets, but I hear them sometimes at night. So I'm hoping they're outside my house, not inside my house. I don't like that. I don't like that. I wouldn't like that at all. So don't tell me. Don't tell me if they're inside because I don't want to know. Okay, so this was Encyclopedia by Douglas Florian, our book on poems for Poetry Month, which is April. And next week we're going to read a different story. So I want you guys to be safe, take care of yourself, and I will see you again next week. Okay?